I still must ask for your guidance. Du Yun wanted to understand the details, but that Daoist figure took a step out, his figure about to return into the great Tao picture. Who was the heavenly seed prepared for, for someone to nurture it like this? It really was a bit terrifying. The group of geniuses all felt great desire. All types of unexpected things happened today, leaving them extremely shocked, the information they obtained too astonishing, making their minds rise and fall greatly. This heavenly seed, why is it that we cannot obtain it? Lu Tua asked. There were too many people who shared this thought. Yao Yu, Wang Shi, and Immortal Academy's experts' eyes were all burning with passion. Even Tin Crown King who had the world tree sapling found it difficult to calm down. Sure how even more so opened his heavenly eyes, staring towards the great Tao precious pitcher. A cold snort sounded. That Taoist figure was extremely hazy. He turned around, gave them one last look, and in an incredibly cold tone, said, Cease your delusional thinking. This isn't a seed you all can hope to attain with your capabilities. You all should just know how to stay within your own bounds and live out your days in this world of mortals properly. He was extremely indifferent as he swept his eyes over everyone. This type of apathetic stance making the geniuses all feel grievance and dissatisfaction. Exiled immortal, Sher Hao, and the other geniuses, which one of them weren't giants among men. Their natural talents were world-shaking, yet this person didn't care in the slightest, his tone indifferent, not attaching any importance with them. His intentions were clear, these people weren't worthy of having the heavenly seed. Was it because their talent wasn't enough, or was it that their statuses were lacking? Everyone felt extremely uncomfortable inside, wishing to know just what kind of stunning genius was worthy of obtaining it. All of you, just back off, that person said coldly. These were words of banishment, telling them to give up. After speaking, he entered the great Tao picture, turning into an indistinct carving. Moreover, he likely wouldn't be able to come out ever again. The imprint's damage was severe, only the last bit of traces left behind. On the great Tao precious picture, that mother root burned, completely turning into ashes, not the slightest bit remaining. Truly can't accept this. Why should we give up on fighting over it? We already searched all the way here, looking forward to getting the heavenly seed, yet we are told that this was prepared for someone else. He even showed us such contempt and disdain. An expert from a mortal academy spoke in resentment. Do you have any way of obtaining it? Another person said with a sigh. Quite a few people became quiet. The great Tao precious picture was frightening. Sealed inside was a foreign land emperor clan, so they were unable to forcefully seize it, or else it would produce a great disaster. Forget it, that seed was prepared for someone else, already experienced the nurturing of countless years. That person's plans really were grand. If there really is that type of family and power, it isn't something we can provoke. Another person spoke, reassuring himself. Really don't know whose family's young master it is. Don't tell me it's some bean sprout grown in a greenhouse, or else I really hope the day comes when we run into each other. Someone said with a sneer. Many people shook their heads, feeling like this type of power wasn't something they could provoke. It was because that human-shaped creature had said that this was a place untainted by the mortal world, immeasurable, suspected to be the same place the protectors came from. Du Yun stared blankly, staring at the great Tao precious picture, not saying a word. Red hair, you get over here. Sure how shouted, aiming his heavenly eyes at that red-haired creature. The red-haired creature was a foreign land emperor clan's outstanding talent. When he heard this, he was so furious his eyes stood up, revealing a vicious look. If not for the fact that he previously suffered serious injuries, he would have charged at him a long time ago. I am going to devour your soul, he said hatefully through clenched teeth. Just die. Sure how already attacked even from far away, displaying the Lightning Emperor's method. He himself didn't move, but he transferred over a dark cloud that carried a sea of lightning, attacking viciously. Electrical arcs split the void, hacking downwards, forming a boundless expanse. Damn it all. If I don't die this time, I will find you sooner or later. The red-haired creature roared in fury. He then turned around and jumped, entering the great Tao precious pitcher. It was because he didn't have any way out already, too many young geniuses here. Earlier, he took action viciously, so there was no way to reconcile with him. Chi. A streak of bloody light rushed out from the great Tao pitcher, surrounding him. His body thus vanished. Trying to commit suicide? You'll instantly be refined into scattered ashes and dispersed smoke. Someone sneered. 
Escaping out from the great Dao Precious face was not easy at all. Right now, he was walking right into the trap. This really seemed like courting death. This place became peaceful again, the ground a mess, the ashes of plants scattered everywhere. The great Dao Precious pitcher turned into stone mountains, looking rather lonesome as it towered there. Dugu Yun became silent, standing there for a long time without moving. The others were also quiet, feeling quite dejected. After slaughtering their way here, there was actually nothing to harvest, unable to obtain the heavenly seed. None of them wanted to accept this. That Dugu Yun colluded with the foreign creature. A long time later, someone spoke like this, cold light released from his eyes. Someone stopped him, saying, Just let it go, he is the protector's descendant. So if he really is killed, that really will stir up great trouble. Just report what he did to the elders, have them deal with him. Soon afterwards, the group of people all withdrew, leaving the stone wall through the same path they came from. Then, they began to search about this area again, catching divine medicines, picking heaven and earth spiritual things. Even though they obtained some harvest, it wasn't that great, because the remaining few stocks of divine medicine had escaped a long time ago. When they returned, rejoining the two academy's elders, telling them about their experiences, those old monsters' expressions became incredibly downcast. There was actually this type of strangeness with this place, all of it just for nurturing a heavenly seed? An elder frowned, feeling greatly affected. The elders were all frightened as well. After being nourished for all these years, just how powerful would that heavenly seed become? Just who was it that prepared such a grand thing? They all felt a bit of fear, starting to lose confidence. No harm, the so-called most powerful heavenly seed might not necessarily be able to produce an unmatched being. I believe that there are some among you who can transcend above, truly become unmatched. If the day comes in the future when you all must fight that person with the heavenly seed, defeating him from a disadvantage, using an imperfect seed to defeat him, then only someone like that can be considered a supreme being. An elder said loudly. This was clearly spoken to console the geniuses, as well as to give them encouragement, but it was indeed effective. A few people's blood began to burn, a wave of confidence surging. Of course, there is still a chance that you all might find a perfect heavenly seed. Currently, there is someone who grasps the world tree sapling, and in the future, others might obtain great harvests as well. The one who had the world tree sapling was naturally Tin Crown King, this fact making everyone feel incredibly envious. Go. They withdrew from this ancient land, leaving the area of the five elements reversal formation covered. Immortal Academy and Heavenly Deity Institutions people separated. In the following days, everyone searched fervently, collecting seeds in this five elements continent. Sure, Hao and Qingyi walked together, continuously searching. They entered strange lands one after another, surprisingly discovering many seeds, gathering all, metalwood, water, fire, earth, five types of Tao seeds. Of course, this wasn't saying that by having five different attribute seeds, one could produce the five elements immortal seed, as that wasn't realistic at all. However, this was still enough to prove how astonishing their opportunities were. Several days later, many people became excited. This continent's five elements essence energy was too strong. Apart from obtaining some rare precious seeds, there were people who excavated five elements materials and other things. Of course, for Lu Tua, Exiled Immortal, and others, they weren't all that attractive. They desired a perfect seed. Hong. That day, the Great Earth shook golden light covering heaven and earth, a great earthquake happening. The half-world tree is about to leave. An elder said loudly, informing everyone. That golden ancient tree moved, the divine sun radiance rushing into the heavens. Every single leaf supported the sun, moon, and stars, releasing astonishing vital power. It seemed like it could create a world on its own, construct a piece of cosmos. In its surroundings, the chaotic energy became stronger and stronger. The five elements' essence energy made it evolve even further, its transformations heading to that of a true world tree. Let's go. We will still follow behind it. The places it wants to go to are all mysterious holy lands. Second Elder said. Immortal Academy's worship also left, clearly having the same idea as them. The golden ancient tree removed its roots, life energy flourishing around it. It tore open the heaven and earth, rushing into the distance. The commotion that resulted really was too great. Heavenly space swaying, stars falling one after another. As expected, the next stop was another wonderful place. 
This place was divine and peaceful, auspicious clouds filling the skies, everything created by great Tao symbols. When everyone descended, their minds were greatly shaken. This wasn't a true pure land, but rather one forged by the natural laws of the world. Natural Tao Seed Someone cried out in alarm, his mind greatly moved. They saw a tree that had many fruits on it, all of them produced by natural Tao. What a pity, it isn't an all Tao tree. If it was, it would be comparable to the nascent cosmos seed, not inferior to the world tree sapling. Someone said with a sigh. It was rumored that there was a fruit tree called the all Tao tree. When it produced fruits, there would be over 10,000 of them, containing all types of great Tao, practically the incarnation of all of heaven and earth's natural laws. This type of tree, needless to say, once obtained, would be heaven-defying. Unfortunately, the all Tao tree had always been something of legends, no one seeing one before. Before their eyes, they saw a tree with several dozen fruits, yet it was already extremely astonishing. Everyone quickly rushed over, picking all of the fruits. They had already stopped here for more than 20 days. Everyone searched all over the place, vaguely sensing a seemingly endless great Tao energy. There were some elders that suspected there truly might be an all Tao tree. Found it. There is a floating island to the far west, on it a tree. From time to time, vague traces could be seen from great void cracks, on it many fruits. That day, someone cried out. This was discovered by many people, so there was no way to keep it a secret, news quickly sent back. This triggered a commotion. Everyone moved, heading to this westmost location. An island was suspended on many natural laws. Lightning interweaved, grating energy pervading the air, great young essence flame emerging, all types of brilliant heaven and earth irregular scenes appearing here. This left everyone shocked. No one could ascend the Tao, all repelled by the heaven and earth natural laws. Everyone vaguely saw that there was one area at the heart of the island that was extremely unusual, as if there was a tree planted there, hidden within a great void crack, the heaven and earth natural laws unable to contain it. A tree full of fruits, its form changing. It seems to be a tea tree but it is full of great Tao fruits. Don't tell me this is the all Tao tree? Someone exclaimed with astonishment. Even though it was a hurried glance, everyone just felt that there were several thousand fruits on it. And? Suddenly, Second Elder was shocked, because he saw something even more astonishing. There is someone there. Many geniuses' minds trembled. Inside that great void crack, not too far away from the all Tao tree sat an ancient being, his body covered in ancient chains, these chains stabbing through his shoulders, sealing him there. The floating island was guarded by a lightning pool, great Yin and great Yang energies coexisting. A tree took root at the center of the void crack, faintly discernible, its branches packed with fruits. There was an immortal sound released, as if they were chanting sounds, but also like the prayers of the ancients. This scene was extremely strange, difficult to avoid attention even if it didn't want to. Everyone became extremely excited, their eyes burning like small suns. One, two. Someone counted the fruits on it while trembling, looking like he really wanted to see if there really were over 10,000 of them. The tree trunk winded about, as if an old dragon was laying there. The tree bark was cracked, looking like scales, the leaves luxuriant, all produced by natural loss. The colors of the fruits were different, divine chains winding about the entire tree. It really does have over 10,000 fruits. Someone's lips trembled stuttering as he cried out like this. This was, without a doubt, the all Tao tree, a perfect immortal seed. It could be merged with a cultivator, become one, carry out the most perfect evolution. Only, many people had tried to ascend that island, but they couldn't get close. In its surroundings, lightning pools rested one after another, able to easily blast heavenly deities into dregs, not to mention the great Yin, great Yang, and natural order divine chains. The natural laws are still manageable. I just fear that this person might resurrect. One of Heavenly Deity Institution's elders said, staring at that person bound in metal chains. He was greatly shaken up. Who exactly was this person, to be bound not far from an all-life tree, his body even pierced by rusted chains, now practically growing on his flesh? Why did they just feel like this person really might resurrect? Everyone could sense that the pitch-black iron chains had existed for endless years, suspected to have large amounts of darkness immortal gold mixed in. However, it still rusted. One could see just how ancient they were. To make immortal gold rust, at the very least, it was rarely seen in this great era. 
He might be a creature from a mortal ancient great era. It was precisely this that proved this person was extremely terrifying, very likely someone who had lived through an entire great era. Just how horrifying was this? There was an elder who tried to get closer, moreover activating secret treasures. As a result, those precious artifacts silently turned into metal liquid at the center of the island, directly melted. Chi. At this moment, Immortal Academy's old monsters emerged, two individuals joining hands to cross the lightning pool, paw this land of natural laws and collect the legendary all Doubt tree. Voila. Right at this moment, the iron chains clanked. That shriveled up, disheveled creature suddenly raised his head, moreover opening his eyes, coldly sweeping them over everyone. The all Dao tree isn't something you all can obtain. Just leave, he coldly said. He is still alive. Many people felt as if they fell into an ice house. Even though they had long suspected that he might still possess life, when they saw it with their own eyes, it was still shocking. Living for endless time, locked here, still not dying. What kind of background does he have? The most important thing was that he was guarding an all Dao tree. Who was he guarding it for? The fact that we were able to find this place means that there is an opportunity, yet we can't obtain it. Just who can then? A cultivator shouted, finding this hard to accept. When the heaven-defying Tao seed matures, there will naturally be someone who will come for it. You all can forget about it. He spoke in an extremely cold manner. This type of tone carried a type of contempt, just like the humanoid creature who emerged from the great Tao precious pitcher that sealed a foreign emperor clan, extremely arrogant, looking down on everyone. When they produced this thought, everyone shivered inwardly. A world-shaking expert was in charge of guarding this place? However, he was locked down by iron chains, looking like a prisoner, as if he was forced to watch over this place. Senior, this all Dao tree is rooted here, yet no one can pick it. Can you let us approach it and take a look? A young cultivator gathered his courage and said, In reality, these were probing words. You all don't have this type of qualification. That person said coldly. The iron chains on its body were covered in rust. At this moment, they released noises, moving with his words. These words made them all quite upset, as well as extremely unconvinced. This really was similar to the tone of that humanoid creature from the great Dao Precious Pitcher, all showing this type of contempt for them. I still haven't consulted Senior for his great name. Someone else spoke up, wishing to understand more, as well as testing a step further. You all still aren't withdrawing? If not, then all of you can just die. The voice of the person sealed under the iron chain was cold, struggling about while speaking. Blood immediately flowed from his flesh, rushing out from the shoulder blade and other parts that were punctured. Quite a few people's eyes released light, feeling like perhaps there will be a chance. However, soon afterwards, their expressions turned pale, because the blood that flowed out crushed the void. The scene's terrifying. Then, he opened his mouth, spitting out a streak of sword radiance, hacking down a great star from the skies, leaving everyone stupefied. Just a streak of sword radiance released from his mouth was enough to bring down stars. This kind of power made everyone feel restraining fear. This was just too frightening. Many people didn't dare move anymore, all of them obediently staying within their bounds. Immortal Academy's old monsters didn't withdraw. Heavenly Deity Institution's second elder didn't wish to give up either, all of them wanting to give it a try. After all, that person was locked down by iron chains. Then, following a cold snort, that individual restrained under iron chains released a wave of formless might, blasting the floating island until it cracked. The ground where the all-life tree was rooted and cracked together with the void, revealing a few corpses that were buried within. Heavens, even innate gods and devils born in primal chaos were turned into corpses. Everyone saw what was in the earth. Even those types of creatures suffered disaster, dying nearby, buried under the great earth, illustrating just how dangerous this place was. They all died because of the Aldau tree. The creature whose body was imprisoned here said, We're going. The elders of the two academies immediately decided to leave, because they understood well how frightening those skeletal remains were. Everyone became silent, all of them understanding the severity of the situation. How could two sky-shocking seeds have appeared one after the other in Realm Tomb? Regardless of whether it was the mysterious heavenly seed or the all Dao tree, they were both priceless, moreover, both were protected by someone. This was extremely unusual. When they were far away, someone finally couldn't hold back, 
saying, That is but the all Tao tree. It has only ever appeared in legends, never obtained by someone. We actually had the fortune of seeing one, yet we couldn't bring it away. Just what kind of place is Realm Tomb exactly, actually able to have this type of thing? The students began to discuss among themselves, while the elders' faces were downcast, finding it hard to calm down. Two great seeds appeared, there was definitely something wrong. That person is about to die, only having a breath left, always remaining asleep through a secret method, only reviving at the critical moment. He can be said to be a living corpse, an elder from a mortal academy said. However, who dared go over there? The so-called about to die would still likely last some time. If they really did take action and fight a decisive battle, it would still give a mortal academy's elders a headache. They didn't dare fight head on. Sure House sighed, feeling incredibly regretful. This was the second seed that moved his mind, yet he was going to miss out. I feel like that tree is a bit familiar, but I can't recall why. While Ching Yi was transmitting sound to him, moonlight flowed around her body. Sure How knew that this was definitely because of the green lunar flame, allowing her to understand many secrets. Everyone stopped here for a set amount of time, searching around every day, finding many trees, fruits, and other things created from natural loss. There were some who obtained great harvests. Only when that ancient golden tree pulled out its roots again, leaving this place, did they prepare to continue following it once more. However, this time, there was a major problem. The world tree shattered the void, and while bringing heaven overflowing chaos around it, it immediately vanished, stopping the two warships, preventing them from following it. This tree's evolution is becoming more and more mature, developing a powerful will of its own. It won't allow us to follow it any longer. The elders sighed with disappointment and frustration, unable to take advantage of this opportunity anymore. Meanwhile, there were still some people who felt a bit of regret, wondering if the next location would have had another perfect seed. In theory, it should be impossible for another one to appear, because those types of things were just too heaven-defying. The fact that they were able to find two should already be ridiculously good luck, a type of wondrous karma. Only, they felt that the places where the half-world tree stopped were too special. The two different places they followed it to had two perfect immortal seeds, it really was just too much of a coincidence. That was why a few people speculated that the next place also had that type of heaven-defying thing, feeling that the golden ancient tree was advancing along an ancient path. The true dangers have arrived, because we can only rely on ourselves to advance now, Heavenly Deity Academy's elders said. Sure enough, not long afterwards, when the silver warship continued, they accidentally landed on a damaged earth, a place with shattered stars everywhere. Moreover, there were all types of broken corpses and blood floating in the void. When someone tried to gather a certain type of silver blood, he immediately released a miserable scream. It was his spatial magical artifact that melted, but immediately afterwards, he himself also decayed, turning into viscous blood. Do not act randomly. These things have long lost their spirituality, now only carrying death energy and destruction. An elder shouted. This region was incomparably vast. They saw too many corpses, all of them damaged, moreover incredibly massive, some even larger than stars. It was difficult to imagine what kind of intense battle this place previously experienced. Bloodseed. Someone shouted in pleasant surprise, collecting a bloodseed here. It was extremely powerful, collecting the fiendish energy, ancient blood, and other things here, forming a unique and rare blood seed. There were more than just one or two of these blood seeds, more than ten individuals ultimately obtaining them. When past unmatched innate gods and devils were killed in battle, the blood essence within them wouldn't fade, possessing spirituality. It would then seep out, turning into blood seeds. The process of gathering them was extremely dangerous, three people unexpectedly dying, drowned in corpse energy, turning into mush on the spot, and then rotting away, completely dying. They departed soon afterwards, entering an ancient cluster of constructs floating in Realm Tomb. They noticed many shadows here. There are heroic spirit seeds here, the leftover souls of ancient experts who developed spirituality, turning into seeds. An elder said, It could be said that these seeds were related to the soul, all of them soul Tao seeds. During the process, there were more people who died, devoured by the Tao seed instead. Several days later, they left. After searching everywhere, they arrived before a shining lake. They felt a strong power of time here. There are time seeds here, 
exceptionally rare and precious. It'll depend on your luck to see if you can get one. An elder said, Patong. A disciple was swept up by the river, not even the elders able to rescue him. He was drowned in time, quickly drying up, dissolved into pieces. The following areas were clearly places the elder had been to before, paths that they were familiar with. Even though there were dangers, it wasn't to the point of completely wiping them out. A few months later, this journey ended. They passed through ancient lands one after another. They didn't dare advance any further, as they encountered too many dangers along the way. If they continued any further, even the elders might die. During this time, they even encountered living creatures, especially some ancient terrifying experts that were either sealed or trapped in realm tomb. These individuals casting their projections outwards, almost causing great problems. Woo-woo. The bugle horn on the warship sounded, calling everyone back. They began to head back, the warship turning into a streak of divine radiance, departing into the distance, leaving Realm Tomb and heading back to Heavenly Deity Institution. Realm Tomb, a broken and desolate place. Many stars were withering, the damage severe. There were many continents, countless internal worlds, all of them suffering the most ferocious attacks in complete tatters. The silver warship's speed was extremely great, passing the dusky misty region, corpses floating all around them. They now began to head back. Pong. A hand suddenly slapped down, carrying large amounts of shadows behind it. Many great stars shook, moving along with it. The large hand was pitch black like ink, covering the sky as it smashed down towards the silver warship, striking fiercely. The scene was absolutely frightening, stars in the surroundings going dim and falling. Not good. There is someone attacking. Forget about Heavenly Deity Institution students. Even the elders cried out. This type of pressure was too terrifying, the scene leaving everyone frightened. This made everyone feel a bit dispirited. Before this large hand, their individual strength really was too insignificant. This person could definitely pick stars and capture the moon, tear down the sun. It was terrifyingly black, covering heavenly space, descending just like that. The surrounding void continuously shattered, terrifying great cracks extending in every direction. The silver warship swayed about, about to collapse. If not for all types of bone text interweaving, powerful formations defending this place, it would have already turned into ashes. This power was absolutely ridiculous, exceeding everyone's imagination. Rise. Second elder's shoulder. He produced a precious diagram that flowed with chaotic energy. It erupted with sky-reaching radiance, cutting across heavenly space and stopping that large hand. Ping. The large hand was stopped by the precious diagram, chaotic energy rushing in all directions. The damaged stars and floating continents quickly cracked apart. With a tremendous rumbling sound, this place was drowned out by divine light. This was a wave of destructive power that made everyone's legs shake, their bodies trembling with fear. Everyone was shocked. Right now, they couldn't see anything anymore. The warship creaked and groaned, as if it might explode at any time. What a pity! That voice was full of regret. It was an ancient existence, the large hand is projection. He couldn't capture the silver warship, and it was too hard for him to release a second attack. Ten Realms Diagram, an immortal Tao secret treasure, one that could face the true heaven and earth pouch. It was brought by Second Elder to use as defense, displaying great use this time to protect the students. Otherwise, everyone would have died right here. They were actually almost completely wiped out before they left. The warship was like an immortal arrow that left a bowstring, quickly disappearing into the distance. Second Elder put away the Ten Realms diagram, his expression grave as he looked at the endless heaven and earth ruins behind him. It is that person. Previously, when they entered Realm Grave, they had seen a terrifying indistinct figure, bearing strong hostility against everyone. Now, it took action again. He has already been sealed. This is just a projection. It was just a projection, yet it still had such terrifying power, making everyone terrified. They all knew that just now, they definitely passed by the place where he was sealed, thus receiving a strike from him. However, this still almost resulted in a great disaster. Don't tell me this is also someone from a foreign emperor clan, one that was sealed here? Everyone carried suspicions. The warship left Realm Tomb, its speed becoming faster and faster, in the end, gradually becoming indistinct. After the elders produced a bone material altar, it tore open the void, starting to move past this world. Wing. 
at the center of heavenly deity institution, silver radiance flickered about. After experiencing a round of dangers, everyone returned, finally arriving at a safe place. Even though their returns this time weren't small, everyone obtaining Tao seeds of their own still can be considered a rewarding journey. There were still some losses. A few powerful individuals died, no lack of experts among them. One had to bear in mind that these were all the elites among geniuses, or else why would they dare tread on the path of cultivating ancient methods? Yuming died, Wuming disappeared. As names were read out one after another, everyone immediately realized that being able to come back alive really wasn't that easy. This was especially when one stepped on Heavenly Deity Institution's territory, this type of feeling becoming more and more clear. Being alive was better than anything else. Inside the academy, divine mountains rested one after another, silver waterfalls descending, purple energy rising. This was a peaceful and auspicious pure land far from places of danger, making everyone's bodies and spirits completely relax. If you all wish to preserve this type of pure land, then you need to fight to protect it in the future. If you want your descendants to be far from slaughter, not have to experience blood and flames, the only way is for you all to fight, calm the world, defeat the vicious enemies. An elder said, Only a dozen or so of you die this time, compared to the future, it is completely negligible. When the time comes, you all will understand what is true bitterness, what the so-called blood higher than the skies is. For the sake of living, you all must do your best to rise up, truly grasp your own fate. Otherwise, everything will be turned into ashes. An elder said seriously. Everyone knew that they were speaking the truth. Since you all obtained seeds, we will now enter a period of seclusion. Start your transformations now, aim for the highest peak. The seed has already been obtained and can be merged with. All of you can now cultivate immortal Tao ancient scriptures. Everyone was excited, wishing to quickly break through, walk on their own glorious paths. It was because time was pressing, the amount of opportunities left for them not that many anymore. What a pity, there were no perfect seeds to be found. Someone said with a soft sigh, feeling extremely frustrated, not wanting to accept this. This was naturally a young supreme being with three strands of immortal energy who spoke. Sure how also silently thought about this. He wasn't able to grasp a perfect seed this time, leaving him helpless and regretful. Everyone knew that those things could only be encountered and not wished for. If one wanted to obtain one, it was extremely difficult. Since the ancient times, just how many of them were there if they were all added up? Woo, there is someone who grasps the world tree sapling, another who grasps the yin yang seed. This can already be considered incredible. Second elder said. When these words were spoken, everyone sighed, and then they began to discuss among themselves, this place becoming noisy. There was actually someone who grasped the Yin Yang seed? The changes of Yin and Yang were, were the extremes of heaven and earth's profound mysteries, all things able to be explained through Yin and Yang. These were two sides of the Tao, the embodiment of opposition and unity. Yin Yang seed, this was the fruit of Yin Yang exchange, a seed nurtured by heaven and earth, the embodiment of the Tao, almost no one seeing such a thing before. Yet now, someone obtained it. This was an unmatched precious seed without a doubt. There was actually this kind of person among them, grasping an exceptional seed. Everyone discussed among themselves, all of them guessing at who it was that had that. They all felt jealousy and envy. Sure how sighed, feeling great disappointment and sighed, truly unwilling to continue just like this. Otherwise, it would affect his Tao fruit for the rest of his life. He needed a heavenly seed. When the crowd dispersed, sure how walked up, consulting second elder for guidance, saying, can a person merge with more than one seed? That is a path of death. There is no way through. There are those who already tried it before. Second elder shook his head. He naturally knew what the young man before him meant, wishing to use large amounts of seeds to make up for their innate inferiority. Unfortunately, true unmatched precious seeds were only those few in number. It was quite the pity that this youth couldn't obtain one. Second Elder also thought highly of Surehouse potential. Are there really no other opportunities? Surehow asked, feeling a bit disappointed and frustrated. If he couldn't achieve unmatched martial doubt due to a lack of a seed, then that really would be too regretful. He had long made preparations, and he was confident that he had that type of potential, able to rise up, soar into the heavens when chaos descended, only the path before his eyes was blocked. He understood well that the future great battle was definitely going to be cruel, 
full of blood. War would fill the nine heavens, ten earths, cultivators dying everywhere. Could it be that he could only watch as others strove for the peak? If one didn't become the most powerful, then they could only look up to others. Whether or not he would live or die would depend on the victory or defeat of another. He didn't want to accept this kind of result. The path is something predecessors have walked. Dao methods are established by the ancients, who can say that this is the final destination. Not having the most powerful seed might not necessarily mean that you cannot take the most powerful path. Second Elder consoled. It is just like the present world method, when everyone thought that the end had been reached, didn't Sacred Academy appear, starting to break through the limits, walking the path of extremes? Second Elder added. Of course, these were still words of consoling. He didn't feel like one person could reconstruct a peak, continue a broken path. This was something only possible through the joint efforts of many generations. Sure how left silently, walking into the distance. Ching Yi caught up, walking with him side by side, consoling, it might not necessarily be impossible. Behind them, Second Elder seemed to have thought of something, saying, perhaps there are still a few methods, Immortal Academy might have an unmatched precious seed hidden. And? Sure how turned around, looking towards him again. A true most powerful seed. One that is hard to destroy, heaven difficult to extinguish, earth difficult to bury. Even though it had previously merged with someone, when that person died, it will still condense once more. Second Elder said, Based on his speculations, Immortal Academy might have preserved this type of unmatched ancient seed, because they excavated many immortal traces, all of them caves left behind after the immortal ancient war. Perhaps there is a way to make up for it. Ching Yi revealed a smile advising sure how not to be in a rush to enter seclusion and merge with the seed. It is someone else's seed after all, how can they gift it to me for no cause or reason? Sure how said. It was because he knew Immortal Academy's disciples were all individuals a group of old monsters personally instructed, not like heavenly deity institution that widely accepted people with immortal energy, accepting disciples from the public. If they had precious seeds saved, it would likely be passed down to their disciples. Not necessarily. If you're stunning enough, those old monsters might very well grant you the hidden unmatched ancient seed. Second Elder said. When he spoke up to here, he paused slightly, feeling like there was more of a chance the longer he thought about it. Then, Second Elder transmitted sound, informing all of the young supreme beings who had three strands of immortal energy to temporarily not enter isolation to merge with Tao seeds, instead wait for other opportunities. If Immortal Academy really did have a perfect seed, the competition would definitely be fierce. For the sake of fairness, for the sake of giving everyone a chance, he informed all of the individuals with potential. Wang Shi, Lu Tua, Yao Yu, and the others were originally silent, feeling extremely unwilling, but when they heard this rumor, they were naturally moved, all of them waiting for the new opportunity. In reality, Immortal Academy's people were even faster than what they had thought arriving just two days later. All of those who are merging with seeds, stop for now. This kind of voice sounded in the skies, shaking up heavenly deity institution. That was a giant figure who covered the heavenly sun, vast and boundless, the clouds around it scattered, its presence grand. This wasn't a warship, nor was it a normal flight magical artifact, but rather a star. It looked like it was made of stone material, incredibly large. It descended from beyond the heavens. Everyone became stupefied. Using a star as a magical ship to cross stellar space, this really was shocking. It was clear that the stone material star definitely had endless symbols within it. This was a hidden warship, should be even more terrifying than precious artifacts and other things, definitely something that possessed powerful offensive strength. The mortal academy's people arrived, bringing their elite disciples to visit Heavenly Deity Institution. The same day, Sacred Academy's people came, also bringing a group of the most powerful disciples, descending in heavenly deity institution. There were rumors a long time ago that the heroes of the two academies would arrive to interact with heavenly deity institution. They unexpectedly arrived the same day. Immortal Academy's little Sky King has come. Sacred Academy's little saint has arrived as well. The two academies' people had just arrived, yet this type of news was already sent out. As expected, the most powerful disciples all arrived. Heroic talents gathering here. Outstanding heroes gathered. The elites of both academies were here, coming to Heavenly Deity Institution. This was precisely for the so-called exchange. 
Of course, this was also something both academies had to do to choose heavenly deity institutions' outstanding talents, bring away the most powerful, those with the most potential, choosing the talented disciples with the most potential. The two academies arrived so quickly, this really is a bit nerve-wracking. If they came this time precisely to choose disciples, then we have to properly show them what we got. I hope I can smoothly pass and enter a mortal academy. Heavenly Deity Institution was in an uproar. A few students were incredibly excited, all discussing spiritedly, all of them knowing their opportunity had arrived. The elders had long told them that the best among them would enter the two academies, further pursue their studies there, become the successors of a group of old monsters. Even though Heavenly Deity Institution was a good place, compared to the two academies, it was still a bit lacking. The Mortal Academy excelled in cultivating immortal Tao ancient methods, collecting world-shocking texts and even had a matchless precious seed. They even more so had an environment identical to that of a mortal ancient, the most suitable for cultivating a mortal energy. Sacred Academy gathered the heavenly talents of different eras, at the very limit of present world methods, moreover taking a step further, transcending above, creating unmatched methods. It seems we managed to come in time. Those disciples haven't merged with seeds yet, right? An old monster from a mortal academy was all smiles as he interacted with the elders in Heavenly Deity Institution's main hall. The mortal academy's people left Realm Tomb a bit later than Heavenly Deity Institution's. When they returned and learned that Heavenly Deity Institution already left previously, they immediately set out for this place. Not too late. The most powerful people haven't merged with Tao seeds, all waiting for the final opportunity. Second Elder replied while laughing. It was precisely as he suspected. Immortal Academy most likely preserves supreme ancient seeds, truly a great opportunity. For sure how, Lu Tua, and others, this was a chance. Then that is good, or else if there was good food but it couldn't be tasted. Missing out on the immortal seed, that truly would be too regretful. Immortal Academy's old monster said with a smile. How many of the most powerful seeds are there? An elder from Heavenly Deity Institution asked. This was what they were most concerned with, and it would also allow them to understand Immortal Academy's strength a step further. Won't leave all of you disappointed. There was more than one dug up from the last Great Era's Immortal Cave, only, it needs to be restored. An old monster spoke, the hair on his head white, but it flickered with faint golden light. Even though he was old, his blood energy was flourishing, divine eyes like lightning. And? Second Elder was a bit surprised. He lowered the cup in his hand, feeling that things weren't that simple. Needs restoration? Another Elder from Heavenly Deity Institution asked. It needs to soak in some precious blood for nourishment, and only then can the most powerful precious seed recover its former brilliance, become the most perfect seed of this world. That old monster said. Everyone was stunned. Things were not simple after all. The Mortal Academy's people didn't only come to gift the most powerful seed, but rather carried other aims. All of them knew that the so-called blood definitely pointed at the bloodlines the most powerful geniuses from various clans inherited. Explaining a step further, it was likely the blood of those who cultivated three strands of immortal energy. The atmosphere in the main hall became a bit heavy. The elders from Heavenly Deity Institution put away their smiles, their expressions becoming serious. Were they here to help Heavenly Deity Institution's disciples or to exploit them? I just knew this was how things were going to turn out. The Mortal Academy has a great number of competent individuals, producing several great seeds, one of them even titled Little Sky King. So how could they be willing to gift out in Supreme Ancient Seed? It only makes sense for you all to save it for a Mortal Academy's outstanding talents. An elder from Heavenly Deity Institution said coldly. This made them all develop bad feelings inside. The other party didn't come with pure intentions, here for exceptional precious blood. It was unknown who the final ancient seed would be gifted to. Dao brother, you are overthinking things. I can promise you that there is at least one ancient seed that will end up in heavenly deity institutions genius's hands. Another old monster from Immortal Academy said. He had purple hair, even though it was sparse, about to completely fall out. Its color still remained the same, purple and sparkling releasing brilliant radiance, not becoming white. In addition, his face was rosy, even though his body was a bit aged, it was still surging with life force, his complexion like that of a child's. Senior Ying, one, already spoke like this, 
then we don't have to worry about a mortal academy going back on their word. Heavenly Deity Institution's fourth elder said, the expression on his face becoming much better. Does the most powerful ancient seed need to be restored? Isn't it difficult for the heavens to eliminate, the earth to bury? Second elder asked with a frown. That type of seed was perfect like the Yin Yang seed, nascent cosmos seed and others, which one of them didn't carry the world's greatest profound mysteries, derived unmatched natural laws? This type of thing existed with heaven and earth, could evolve. Otherwise, why would they be called the most powerful? It can only be blamed on a mortal ancient's great war being too bitter, its owner in the last era falling in battle, completely exploding to pieces, suffering unimaginably serious injuries. It is already quite good that it gathered together again after endless years. The old monster whose white hair carried golden light said, He was originally a platinum ape, strength exceptional, blood energy is forte, which was why even though he was now aged, he was still full of blood energy, exceeding conventional reasoning. They had inspected many ancient texts, gathered endless heaven and earth spirit essence to nurture this most powerful ancient seed, the effects of these actions outstanding. Now, it only lacked a bit of precious blood. If it has dragon blood and phoenix blood, then that is the best. If this doesn't exist, then the blood of young supreme beings who cultivated three strands of immortal energy isn't a bad choice either, which is why we came to Heavenly Deity Institution for assistance. The old monster with sparse purple hair named Zing said, How many ancient seeds does a mortal academy have exactly? Second elder asked, Don't worry, there is more than one. Heavenly deity institution will have its seed. The platinum ape said, If there are several, then only giving my academy one. Isn't that too stingy? After all, our academy has but several great immortal Tao successors. Second elder said a step further, It isn't too few, after all. My immortal academy has even more exceptional geniuses. The old monster Zing said, Heavenly deity institutions elders gave each other a look, and then they sighed inwardly. The mortal academy's geniuses were direct disciples these old monsters personally instructed, so they were extremely partial towards them after all. With heaven and earth's great changes imminent, I must ask seniors to look at the situation from a broader perspective, grant the ancient seeds to the disciples with the greatest potential. Only then will they be able to display their greatest effects in the future. Heavenly Deity Institution's fifth elder was extremely frank, speaking like this. Please do not worry, we definitely wouldn't hold them back out of greed. We will definitely make our choice with the greatest fighting strength and potential in mind. The Platinum Ape said. Heavenly Deity Institution's elders became silent, not knowing if he was just saying this or if he truly meant it. After chatting a bit longer, they got up one after another because Heavenly Deity Institution's elders had to meet with Sacred Academy's people as well, discussing the selection arrangements and other things with them as well. Right now, Heavenly Deity Institution was becoming more and more bustling with activity, all of the disciples coming out of seclusion, looking towards that celestial body in the sky. Immortal Academy's person really is formidable, actually using a celestial body as a magical artifact to traverse space, just too astonishing. There were many people who really were shocked. The star was made of stone material, simple and ancient in appearance. It floated above heavenly deity institution, chaotic energy released from its surface, sturdy and unmovable. In another direction, there was a white bone magical artifact, similarly enormous. It was like a gourd, floating there, wrapped within white mist. This was Sacred Academy's magical artifact, not smaller than a star, unknown what kind of creature's bones it was refined from. Heavenly Deity Institution was full of activity. When everyone saw the two magical artifacts, they knew that the moment that would decide their fates was about to arrive. There were naturally many who wanted to enter the two academies, become their disciples and strengthen their own cultivations a step further, obtain the two academies' powerful support and resources. Quite a few of the two academies' elite disciples have come, so why didn't they come out? still remaining inside the magical artifacts? Woo, I have to seize this chance, cannot miss it. The opportunity to change from a fish to a dragon is right before me. A few people were discussing among themselves, all of them paying close attention to the sky above. Meanwhile, at this time, even Lu Tua, Wang Shi, and the others also came out from seclusion. Princess Yao Yu and a few others even more so flew into heavenly space, wanting to pay the experts from the two academies a visit. 
For Yao Yu, Wang Shi, and the others, it wasn't all that unexpected if they did enter the two great magical artifacts. After all, they were from long life families, their clans previously had people who entered these two academies. As expected, immortal music sounded, multicolored light surged. The stone material celestial body shone, producing an opening, forming a gate. In addition, a path unfolded outwards, accepting the visitors. Yayu was allowed to enter. Meanwhile, on the other side, the bone material magical artifact surged with immortal light, sacred sounds rumbling. A passage appeared from the mouth of the gourd, Wang Shi also invited in. Many people knew that the Wang family had connections with a certain Long Life family. While this clan produced an exceptional heavenly talent, this person precisely in Sacred Academy, right now, currently in that gourd. Since Dao brothers came, please come out and meet us. Let us properly receive you as hosts. Below, someone spoke. Quite a few people spoke similar things, all of them wishing to develop good relationships with the two academy's elites. Sure Hao also came. He didn't say anything, instead silently watching. A few disciples from the academies looked towards him, all of them revealing strange looks. It was because all of them knew that in Realm Tomb, Sure Hao had previously defeated Immortal Academy's experts, establishing a name for himself. Apart from this, Huang and Wang Shi also had gratitudes and grudges. Now, her fiancé might have arrived, someone who the old monsters praised as a peerless heavenly talent. Huang is in trouble. Yuan Qing will most likely stop him from entering the two academies. There was someone who muttered this quietly. Many people knew about the resentment between Yuan Qing and Sure Hao. The former wanted to suppress the latter for ten years, sending him to origin ancient mine, and then Sure Hao acted out, killing Yuan Qing's descendant, chased away Yuan Qing's son, the conflict impossible to dissolve. Meanwhile, Yuan Qing came from these two academies, familiar with some great figures. If he began to slander Sure Hao, insisting on cutting off Sure Hao's path, then it really might display some uses. Along, right at this time, that stone material celestial body was the first to open up. A golden path was displayed, creatures appearing, walking out from this magical artifact. Is there one named Huang from Heavenly Deity Institution? Someone on the great golden light path shouted. Trouble came as expected. Everyone's minds trembled, not expecting Immortal Academy's people to be this direct, wishing to act out against Sure House so quickly. A few figures appeared on that great golden path, overlooking everything below, examining Heavenly Deity Institution's geniuses. Sure how didn't pay them any attention, only calmly watching from the side, truly not knowing the depth of heaven and earth. In Realm Grave, there was someone named Huang who dared take action against my immortal academy's cultivators, even more so humiliating Wu Tai, seizing his azure armor. Is this person here or not? The berating voice sounded once more on the great golden Dao path. You'll have to face the master if you beat the dogs. You should have known that the azure armor belongs to Little Sky King, something he lent out. So by what qualifications do you dare seize it? This Huang better quickly offer up the armor and confess his sins. This harsh criticizing was incredibly severe, carrying tremendous might. Hurry up and confess your sins. The others also roared out, the voices rumbling through the skies like thunder. In that instant, within Heavenly Deity Institution, Many geniuses' eyes cast over towards Sure Hao.